Hi folks, Forest State Jr. here. It's Rolling Tape. Today we have Kathy Fong Yoneda. She's the author of The Script Selling Game. Today she's going to talk about fellowships. If you're a screenwriter, you're going to want to tune in to this episode. Let's roll tape. This episode brought to you by Spoof Dance Film Festival. Make parody commercials and bring the funny. Welcome to the show, Kathy. Oh, thanks for having me. Uh, uh, today, I really wanted to, I, I hope your viewers uh, are interested in screenwriting and how to get noticed because there are some fellowship programs that I'm dying to tell people about and a lot, a lot of people don't really know about them. What is a fellowship program? Well, fellowship programs, most of them are run by the major networks. Uh, there's CBS, uh, NBC, ABC, Fox, uh, Nickelodeon, and uh, let's see, and Warner Brothers. And these are major Hollywood studios and networks, and what they do is they have special programs. They're fellowship programs, and it's a little bit of a complex kind of a – uh, a thing where you have to do a lot of submission work, you have to do spec scripts and everything. Every single one of their programs are a little bit different from each other. The main thing is that you will need to dedicate a certain amount of time to actually being in LA. Uh, some of the programs are as oh, like maybe once a week for maybe five, four or five hours a week. And some people actually are so dedicated that once they've been chosen, they actually have chosen to commute from Seattle or Salt Lake City or Phoenix or whatever and come in just for that one day a week. Uh, other people have chosen to actually move down and, and live in the L.A. area. Uh, they're, uh, one of the programs, which is, by, which is with Disney, it's part of the ABC Disney Fellowship Program, they actually have – a paying fellowship, which of course everybody wants to be paid for it. The others are not paid ones, but theirs is a little bit more complex and you, they require that you have to live in Los Angeles. Now you can be living elsewhere, but when it comes time for the fellowship program, you have to be able to dedicate anywhere from six months to a year to live in Los Angeles, but you will be tutored and you will get to shadow showrunners and some of the best top producers. Uh, Disney also has a separate program for film and a separate one for television. So uh, that's something you need to keep in mind. NBC is the one that takes care of, of one for television, but they have a, a partner with Universal Studios. They're, they're actually the same uh, corporation. And Universal will take care of the film division. So that is something that you have to decide. Do I want to do it for television or do I want to do it for film? The rest of them, are the, na the na networks themselves, all do television. And usually the program is uh, once a week and getting together anywhere from about um, four months to six months during that time. It's uh, a wonderful opportunity for these writers to be able to not only – shadow some of these uh, big time showrunners. They actually sometimes will get to sit in the writer's room and just take a look at what is it that goes back and forth. How do they put um, a show together in, in a very small amount of time? Because right on up to the time that they are shooting, occasionally they are still writing. Uh, it's a very you know uh, condensed kind of way of learning, but it gives you a realistic view of you know what's expected of you. How does someone sign up for these? Go to the websites, and um, the good thing is that at the end of this, uh, I'll, I'll give my uh, website, and you guys can just uh, contact me, and I've got a whole list of those, not only of the uh, fellowship programs, but of, of screenplay competitions, um, web, web fest, and uh, some other material, too, where you can put your uh, log lines on uh, and let people take a look at them. So there's a, some resource that I have, and I will be happy to you know, give you that information at the, at the end. But it's, it's, you've got to follow all the directions to the T. If they ask for a spec script of a television show that is current, don't give them one of Frasier <laughs> because they will throw that out. 
or if they say what we need the first 20 pages of your film script and uh, a two-page synopsis of the rest of the story don't say oh well you know what i want them to say, you know i want them to uh, to see 25 pages instead because that's the complete scene uh you know it'll complete the end of the scene so if you do that they're going to throw that out uh i used to help out with the disney fellowship program when i was an executive over there believe me they are very strict and it was not unusual to have as many as 10 to 15 percent of these submissions thrown out because they didn't follow directions when it said you know please fill this out in caps and they didn't they throw it out <laughs> if they if you didn't uh, have the right page count in there like some people they said screenplays we accept screenplays up to 120 pages for feature films if they were 125 or 140 or something we threw them out wow so, waste follow your directions time. <laughs> yeah oh yeah they're very strict um what what ages do they do you see mostly coming through these fellowships um a lot of college age kids i assume but do you see adults yes uh in fact as far as i can remember now it could be different uh we do not ask a person's age okay fair <laughs> um, enough the application we don't ask for their age uh and I think it's one of those things where I think Hollywood's being trying to be very careful about that. And it's just like a job interview. You're not supposed to ask somebody's age or their marital status or or whether they're they're gay or not or whatever. You can't ask those kinds of questions. So they're very cautious about that. So unless things have changed drastically, they will not ask your age. And several of the people who have gone through these different fellowship programs have been in their 60s. And there have been some that have been as young as, I believe most of them now require they ha that you have to be 21 to enter. Okay. Uh, and I believe that's, that. I, th I think most of them, yeah, that's a requirement. It has to be at least 21. Uh, what's your website so people can get these uh, um, links? It's uh, Kathy, K-A-T-H-I-E, at Kathy, K-A-T-H-I-E, Fong, F-O-N-G, Yoneda, Y-O-N-E-D-A dot com. What are some success stories? Has people have people gone on to uh, bigger and better things after going through one of these fellowships? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, uh, a good friend of mine, Jen Grisanti, who I think you you may have uh, interviewed her before. She takes care of the writers on the Verge program, and that's one of the best ones. Another one, CBS, the Diversity Writing Program. My friend Carol Kirshner takes care of that one. I I know uh, you're well acquainted with her too. Both of those women almost every week will tell me about, oh, so-and-so who took my program got staffed recently. So it's it works. And not only do they get staffed, if you don't get staffed right away, a lot of them get agents. And that is worth its weight in gold because, as you know, it's really hard to break through, you know, uh, to get an agent or a manager nowadays. So um, that's another perk of it. So it, it really is a, a very unique program. They only take on the average of between five to eight people in each program. That's how personal and how closely uh, monitored everything is. Because when you are there, they are really, it's, it's like a boot camp, a major boot camp for you in Hollywood. And one more time, your um, website so people can get the list. Sure. It's Kathy, K-A-T-H-I-E, at Kathy Fong Yoneda. Y-O-N-E-D-A at uh, AOL.com. Oh, excuse me, at, um, at no, it's, it's KathyFonyanetta.com. <laughs> Sorry. But, um, you know, uh, I, I really hope that people will take advantage of this because a lot of people who live outside of the area don't even know about it. And it's such a wonderful way to get your, your feet wet right away and actually come out of it smelling like a rose and possibly getting an agent or a manager or uh, maybe on staff. All right, Kathy, thank you for joining me on this episode. Thank you. Please subscribe to our channel for filmmakers. Sign up for alerts. That way you know when new videos go up. Like and comment below because we do love to hear from you. And thanks for watching this episode of Rolling Tape.